Привіт, привіт! I'm Taya from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again, guys. Today's video, your favorite village life 2022 during the war. And I'm going to show you lots of interesting stuff today, the first day of September. The weather is like around 20 degrees and feel this nice ASMR spirit relaxing mood in the village. This village has the river that you saw in my videos. It is called Psel. The most famous thing why this village is still, you know, not empty, it's because we have here Sorochinska fair. It is a national fair, kind of like a market, full of Ukrainian folk dances, uh, full of holiday feasts, food, it's amazing. I think all foreigners should come here and experience this if they want to feel Ukrainian atmosphere. Unfortunately, the last two years, because of the COVID and because of the war, it is not operating, but I hope next year, when everything will be safe, it will be bigger as never. Because every year, unfortunately, the finances is getting, you know, lower and lower. And 20 years ago, uh, you know, presidents were coming, local celebrities, there was a zoo. I hope when we will celebrate our victory, it will be amazing and it will be the most popular thing to do in Ukraine. So it's usually an annual thing and is operating in August. So you can combine it with, for example, Independence Day. It's 24th of August. You can visit the fair and Independence Day together. I think it will be a good moment if you are planning your trip to Ukraine.
process why we came to the village is to pick up the potato. So from this line until the end of green, we have to pick and sort out the potato. Hopefully we have relative <laughs> who have a tractor, otherwise with to dig it out it would be very problematic. Uh, check out my outfit, my fashionable boots. We are continuing to cook dishes for upcoming guests for today. These are traditional cutlets. Uh, we call them kotlety, usually made out of pork grounded meat uh, with mix of bread and they are fried. It's basically like meatballs. But I want to make some lighter version, which I like. So you just need zucchini, great zucchini, then onion, egg, uh, also, um, grounded meat. I usually take chicken, but we didn't have it, so we'll see what it's going to look like. And some flour. You make such round balls like this and then you fry it. Well, so we are going to cook some chicken and potato, number one dish in Ukraine. What else do we have? Let's check. This is fried fish and these are stuffed peppers with grounded meat and rice. Yesterday my granny cooked holodets, which is called jelly meat. Actually, you cook it very long, like you boil meat chicken usually for a few hours and then you need to peel it from bones and then put it in the fridge to cool it. Also I'm cooking julienne, yes it has a French name, so you fry mushrooms, onion and boil the chicken and then mix it up in sour cream or hard cream. And before the serving I will melt uh, the cheese, uh, put it into the oven. Typical Ukrainian salad, it's actually Eastern European salad, which is called Olivier. You may know it as a winter salad. Decorating my cake uh, from fruits, what I have. The white top is cream cheese. Already preparing table for guests. Usually cold appetizers are first, then hot and then the dessert. Uh, we have here stuffed eggplants. This is just a pita bread roll, salads, typical sausage and cheese plate. Usually drinking some wine, <laughs> cognac, vodka. And this is a light cake. You can know it as a broken glass or a teat because it's shaky and made out of jelly and sour cream. And this is my cake. Everyone said it's very yummy.
Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment my video. It helps to grow and promote my channel. Don't forget to check other my videos also in the description of this video and the first pinned comment you will see where to find me in my social media and how to support me. See you in my next episode. Bye bye!